I've been a veterinary surgeon now for over 37 years and uh, much of my time has been spent in my beloved North Yorkshire here in Thirsk um, where I knew a lot of the clients before I went away to university having been born in Thirsk. So I came back to Thirsk in 1982 and was fortunate enough to work for Alf White, better known throughout the world as James Herriot. One thing that's uh, very enjoyable about working in Thirsk is the, the farmers, working with the farmers. The firm, farmers have always had uh, shall we say a unique sense of humour, um, very much on my wavelength. Uh, I get on with uh, the farmers very, very well and it's nice when you can work with them and also go out and have a pint and a bit of a laugh and a joke with them as well. But having said that, farmers take their work very, very seriously. Um, I uh, was in, out with a farmer this weekend, um, he was away from the farm uh, and he was quite twitchy because he was away from his farm and his stock. He had somebody left in charge but he still nevertheless was quite concerned that he wasn't there. There's a misconception I think in farming that farmers are heartless beans and that they work on factory type farms and really you know in my experience living and working around Thirsk nothing is further from the truth. The animals have an extremely high welfare standards, they are very very well looked after and it's fair to say that I have clients that actually sleep, especially at lambing time, they just have a, a bit of a, a, a kip down, either beside the yard or in the kitchen for 20 minutes, some of them will actually sleep uh, propped up in the straw because they care about the stock so much. And I think it's these levels of welfare, standards of care, that without exception, make British farming the best in the world. I'm very lucky living and working in North Yorkshire, doing a job where um, I can use my brain for what it is, um, I can uh, help farmers that are in difficulty, I can enjoy, I, I thoroughly enjoy working with uh, animals, literally of all creatures great and small. I've always enjoyed the farming side of, of my work and, and I particularly enjoy lambing time. Lambing time to me is a sign of spring, it's a time of new hope, uh, it's a time of a new beginning really and every single lamb that I help deliver gives me a massive buzz even after 37 years in practice.